Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You give them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ who gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived with the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For Lord, we beseech you, O Lord, Lord, your grace into our, our hearts, that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery. The Resurrection Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the tear of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and will be forever. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, whoever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, o God whose only, only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, Father you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence and the witness of our words and works and the consecration of our lives to holy preaching and speaking only to you and about you that our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all, and the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows, an appreciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary's unique role in the passion of her son, led by Pope Pius VII, to extend this traditional devotion to the whole church in 1814. Our Lady, is a preeminent example of how to live with suffering. She reminds the faithful of, of the malice of sin and shows the way of true repentance. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with a celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his passion. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his passion. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his passion. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his passion. Come, then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord, our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock, His shepherds. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called this mother to share in His passion. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me although they had seen all of my works. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called this mother to share in his passion. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called this mother to share in his passion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be, forever. Amen. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called His Mother to share in His passion. 
at across her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping close to jesus to the last through her heart his sorrow sharing all his bitter anguish bearing now now at length the sword has passed oh how sad and sore distress was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one christ above and in torment hands she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious son is there one who would not weep well in misery so dear christ dear mother to behold can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain in that mother's pain untold bruised derided curse defiled she beheld her tender child all with bloody scourges rent for the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent o sweet mother font of love touch my spirit from above make my heart with your support make me feel as you have felt make my soul to glow and melt with the love of christ my lord holy mother pierce me through in my heart each wound renew of my savior crucified let me share with you his pain who for all our sins was slain who for me in torments died let me mingle tears with you mourning him who mourned for me all the days that i may live by the cross with you to stay there with you to weep and pray is all i ask of you to give virgin of all virgins blessed listen to my fond request let me share your grief divine let me to my latest breast rest in my body bear the death of that dying son of yours wounded with his every wound seep my soul till it has wound in his very blood away be to me o virgin and i lest in flames i burn and die in his awful judgment day christ when you shall call me hence be your mother my defense be your cross my victory while my body here decays may my soul your goodness praise safe in heaven eternally amen Please be seated. My soul clings to you, Lord Jesus Christ. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. Let us rejoice that we have been made sharers in Christ's passion. Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All ye waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All ye hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All ye winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. 
everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All your birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. The spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Ananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. It has pleased the Father to reconcile all creation in himself through the blood of Christ. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes the light in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who will that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering. Grant that your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and when he was made per perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead me and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Please stand.
once adore you, O Virgin Mary. Without dying, you won the martyr's crown beneath the cross of the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus' father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary's mother, <coughs> Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will burst, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be seated. Saan humuhugot ang ating inang Maria ng katatagan ng loob upang harapin ang mga pasakit at amba ng panganib sa kanyang misyon na niyakap sa pagsunod sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Magmula sa kanyang pag-asa sa katapatan sa pangako ng ating Panginoon. Kaya nga ba, dali-dali ang kanyang sagot ang sinabi sa kanya ng Arkanghel Gabriel na siya ang tinakda ng tadhana upang sa ganoy maging ina ng Diyos. Sapagkat bago pa man dumating ang anghel na yan, ay handa na ang kalooban ng ating inang Maria sapagkat lagi niyang pinagninilay-nilayan ang salita ng Diyos. Sinasaloob ang salita ng Diyos Inuunawa ang salita ng Diyos. Kaya hindi na siya nagpaligoy-ligoy. Marahil kung tayo binigyan ng ganyang kahirap na misyon, eh, mag-iisip pa tayo na makalawa at makatatlo. At sasabihin pa natin sa anghel, maaari bang bumalik ka sa isang buwan? Pag-iisipan po muna ito. Maselang bagay ito kukonsultahin ko muna yung nanay ko o yung lola ko o baka may mga legal na implikasyon dito. Tatanungin ko yung mga rabay at mga eskriba na alam ang batas sa ating relihiyon. Baka ganun pa, marami pa tayong mga paumanhin na gagawin upang sa ganun ay eh, lumawig-lawig pa bago tayo sumagot. Pero ang ating inang Maria ora mismo Sinabi na siya ang magiging ina ng Diyos, tinanggap niya. Naririto ang alipin ng Diyos, matupad sana ang iyong salita sa akin. Matupad sana ang iyong salita sa akin. Bakit? Sapakat walang hanggan ang pag-asa ng ating inang Maria sa katapatan sa salita ng Diyos. Kung ang Diyos ay nangako, tutuparin niya. At sa simula pa lang, narinig na niya ang pangako ng Diyos sa kanya. Narinig pa man, bago pa man niya marinig na siya ang magiging ina ng Diyos, ano ang bati sa kanya ng anghel? Ang anghel ay bumati na sa kanya. Abagi ng Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Sa makatwit, pinangakuan na siya na siya ay pupunuin ng grasya. Kung yan ang pangako ng Diyos sa iyo, napupunuin ka ng grasya, ano ang dapat mong ipangamba? Ano man ang sagwil na makita mo kahirapan na susuungin mo para gampanan ang iyong misyon na ibibigay ng Panginoon, lahat na yan ay matutulayan, lahat na yan ay mapagwawagian. At yan ang kanyang naranasan. 
Hindi lubhang maliwanag sa simula kung gaano kahirap pa kanyang susuungin. Pero alam niyang, hindi ito buhay ng ginhawa. Siya'y nagluwal ng sangkol na si Kristo. Ang hari ng mga hari at ang lumikha ng Diyos isinilang sa isang samsaban. Sa isang samsaban. Ang lumikha ng sangkatauhan at sang tinakpa sa samsaban lamang isinilang. Subalit, ang salita ng Diyos ay inihatid sa kanya ng mga pastor na unang gumalo sa pagsilang ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Sinabi kay Maria at kay Jesus, kung ano ka lang nasaksihan at sinabi ng mga anghel, makikita niyo at masasaksihan ang anak ng Diyos ay isinilang upang iligtas ang sangkatauhan. Saan? Sa isang sabsaban. Naging maliwanag kay Maria na kahit na sa sabsaban isinilang ang kanyang anak, iyan ay isang anak niyang lumikha ng sangkinakpan. At ngayon sa ating Ibanghelyo, sa araw na ito, inilaan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa templo mismo Propetang si Simeon na nandun doon naghihintay, sinabi na rin kay Maria, itong anak mo, ito'y magiging sinya ng pagtutuli-tuligsaan dito sa bayan ng Israel. At dahil dito, masasaksihan mo yan. May balaraw na tatarak sa sarili mong puso. Sinabi na yan. Sa kanyang pagsunod sa kanyang anak. At kasasabi pa lang niya, ayun, tinugis na siya ng isang masamang haring si Herodes. Nagtatago na silang mag-asawa sa Ehipso. At kaya lamang nakabalik, ay nung naging mapayapan at namatay at tumutugis na hari sa kanila. At nung ang ating Panginoong Yesus Kristo ay nagbibinata, na ano nangyari? Nawala sa templo. Naku, laking ala-ala o abala. Nung laking takot ng ating Inang Maria sa pagkawala ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, isa sa mga pangamba niya, sapagkat kanya katungkulan ang pangalagaan ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. At magmula noon, hanggang lumakit mangaral, nakita niya at nasaktihan ang mga milagro ginawa ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ang mga kabutihan niyang ginawa, ang unang milagro ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo nangyari sa kasalan sa kana, sa kapamamagitan ng kanyang paghiling Kaya nakita niya po ano magaganda ginawa ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo at mga pangaral na makatotohanan. Subalit, sa likod ng ito, e eh nandoon ang mga pagtakwil sa kanya ng kanya mga kababayan at mga kamag-anak pa. At hindi lang yan, pagtugis ng mga may kapangyarihan sa simbahan hanggang sa isuplong siya sa mga kapangyarihan ng mga Romano hanggang sa siya ay bigyan ng kaparusahan ng kamatayan sa Kus. Ang ating Inang Maria ay isa sa mga kakaunting nakatayo doon subalit hindi natigati. Bakit? Hindi nawawala ng pag-asa. Sapagat yung pag-asa ang lakas ng loob na hindi magpapasuko sa iyo hanggat may pag-asa ka, tuloy-tuloy, hindi ka hihinto, hindi ka susuko, sapagkat nandiyan ang pag-asa. Yan ang pag-asa ng ating Inang Maria. Na bagamat ang baan mo ng panganib, kahit na gaanong lukot, narinig pa rin niya ang pangako ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo sa mga aba, tinatawag nating Beatitude. Mapapalad kayong mga nagluluksa sapagkat kayo'y aaliwin. Napakagandang salita sa ating wikang Tagalog, yung nagluluksa. Yung nagluluksa, hindi pa habang panahon. Yung pagluluksa ay pansamantala lang niya. Habang tayo nagluluksa, nakatakda na ang panahon upang tinatawag natin magbaba ng luksa kapagka tayo na wala ng minamahal sa buhay, hindi habang panahon tayo umiiyak, hindi habang panahon tayo nakaitim, merong araw na yung itim na yan, 
yung kadilimang yan, yung lambong na yan, ay tatanggalin. At tayo maaaliw. Tayo pwede nang maglakad na muli at ipagpatuloy ang ating mahusay at normal na paglakad kahit na mahirap yan sapagkat ang pag-asay nandudoon pa rin at nanunumbalik kahit na tayo may kalungkutan. Ganyan ang sipangako ng ating Panginoong Heto Kristo sa lahat ng mga aba, sa lahat ng mga nalulungkot, sa lahat ng mga nagdadalamhati. Iyan ay pangako unang-unang binitawan sa ating Inang Maria. Mapapalad kayo mga naglulungka sapagkat kayo'y maalim. At yung pag-asang yan na ang kalungkutan at mga panganib na ito ay hindi panghabang panahon ang siyang naging pag-asa sa buong kasaysayan ng simbahan. Ang mga martir, hindi nawala ng lakas ng loob, inilaan ng buhay, kahit na sila'y mamatay sapagkat alam nila at may pag-asa silang ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay hindi matatapos. At kapag ka ikaw umiibig, hindi mo pa babaya ang mamatay ang mga iniibig mo. Kaya nga ang iniibig mo, binubuhay mo. Lagi mo sinasabi sa iniibig mo, mabuhay ka. Kaya kung sila may mamatay sa dahil sa kalupitan ng mga umuusig sa kanila, mabubuhay silang magkuli. Yan ang pag-asa ng mga una nating mga martir at mga martir na susunod pa. At kung sino man yung mga hindi naging martir, subalit sinuong ang kanilang buong buhay, inarap ang mga panganit sa halip na piliin ang buhay ng kaginhawahan na ang kapalit naman ng kanilang kaluluwa. Pagpili ang kanilang kaluluwa sa kapangyarihan at kayamanan, ang kanilang pinili ay sundin kahit na mahirap ang pagsubaybay sa daan patungo sa krus kasama ng ating Panginoon Heso Kristo, ang dahilan lamang niyan ay pag-asa. Ang pag-asa ay katangian ng mga taong naglalakbay. Hindi ka makaka pagpatuloy ng paglalakbay kapag ka ikay walang pag-asa. Susuko ka na dahil sa hirap kapag ka ikay nawala ng pag-asa. Kaya nga sabi ni Dante Alighieri, isang mahusay na makata ng mga Italyano nung kanyang sinasalarawan kung ano masasaktihan mo sa impyerno. Sabi niya, pag tuloy pumasok sa impyerno, meron daw pintuan na papasumang ka na may mga katagang nakasulat. Ang mga pumapasok dito ay mga taong nawalan ng pag-asa. Sapagkat yung mga taong yun ay huminto ng paglalakad. Hindi nakarating sa dapat patungo. Sumuko sa pagkatwalang inasama. Bakit tayo makawala ng pag-asa? Sa lipunan ito. Makakita man tayo sa lipunan ng mga Pilipino, ng mga tao, nagtatalo sila, nagtataksi, gumagawa ng masama, lahat pa ng tao dito sa Pilipinas ay masama. Nakakakita din tayo ng mga tao mabubuti na nagmamalasakit sa kanyang kapwa, na may takot sa Diyos, na kahit pa paano ay tumutulong sa mga tao na hihira. Lahat pa ng mga tao dito ay sinungali. Hindi naman lahat ng tao dito sa Pilipinas ay sinungali. Hindi pa ng lahat ng mga tao dito sa Pilipinas ay traidor. Hindi naman lahat ng tao dito ay sa traidor. Tayo ba'y iniwan na ng Diyos na tayo inilaan na lang ng Diyos sa mga tao ng karimlan at kampo ng mga satanas? Hindi na ka. Ang Diyos ay nandi dito pa rin. Kaya katulad ng ating inang Maria, sanay tayo humarap sa unos at bagyo. Sapagkat higit pa sa mataas at unos at bagyo ay nandi doon ang papayapang hangin at paaliwalas na langit. Hindi naman lahat ay maligalig kapag kami unos. Kapag ka ito ay tumaas-taas pa, makakaranas ka ng maaliwalas na lang at mapayapang kami. At lahat may kadiliman? Hindi. Kahit madilimang gabi, makikita mo pa rin ang 
buwan at sabi ko eh, na naghingi niya. At lahat ba ay gabi? Hindi. Sapagkat sa likod ng gabi, sumisikat pa rin ang araw. Huwag kang susukan. Hawakan mo yung pag-asa sapagkat darating pa ang bukang liwayo. Meron pang bukas. Sa umaga, magniningning ang bukang liwayo. At ipapaalala sa atin ng Diyos na hindi tayo iniikita. Tapat siya sa kanyang pang sa kanyang pag-ibig na bubuhay sa atin na walang hanggan. Let's all stand. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are heavily burdened by sorrow and trials may find peace and comfort as they reflect on the sorrows of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may accept the sorrows and sufferings of life and discern God's presence in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the example of Mary, we may be patient in suffering and persevering in doing good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in the midst of difficulties and trials in our everyday lives, we may discover the true meaning of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For both the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those who may promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Prior Provincial and for our brothers and ministry at Bahay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, and for, per, for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer through sickness may find in Mary a true refuge and consolation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, grant us through the intercession and guidance of our Blessed Mother, that we may share with her sorrows, but likewise be the recipient of the greatest hope that will make us endure those sorrows and enjoy the blessing of your grace, that we may be comforted by your love and your strength. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands to faith. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. To the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all in this holy church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offering which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devout mother, whom she stood by the cross of Jesus 
who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. But feel it truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you look on the lowliness of your handmaid you gave us through her the author of our salvation your son jesus christ our lord through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever may our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim of all holiness make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidel is our auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
Saint Dominic and Saint Francis and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. When Jesus saw his mother standing beside the cross with the disciple whom he loved, 
he said to her, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of the servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised to hold that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. We to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, O sorrowful mother. After your great sufferings, you shine forth as queen, enthroned beside your son. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her son, we may complete in ourselves for the Church's sake what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for an announcement. Good morning, brothers and sisters. The Dominican community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. <clears throat> on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. <clears throat> if you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement received. Or you may visit our website at www.manawagminorbasilica.org <clears throat> at online pamisa where you will find available online and other options for donations. All names and donors and sponsors for the Novena Masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless. Please stand. Tapos puso po kami nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na sumubaybay at nakiisa sa amin online streaming sa ating pagdiriwang ng ating banal na Eucharistia. Nakakaasa kayo na magpapatuloy namin ang pagdadasal para sa inyo at para sa inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Join me for the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.